Hello, welcome to the Hourglass <laughs> with Jody McCraney Rush Show. I'm your host, Logan. Whew. We were just talking about an excellent story with Chase and a goat. Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> totally not real. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our last show of the year. <sighs> it's a sadness. We will be back, just in case all y'all are wondering, we'll be back. January 8th. Yes, so what I guess this is it. This is our, our last show of the year. We're super excited. We're excited to have been here with you. We are very for excited. for all this time. I, I can't remember. I don't know many, how many shows. Lots okay. Of shows. It was awesome. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Drum roll, please. I expected you to do it with our <laughs> All right, welcome to the hourglass. Let's make some art. Woo! So that to, should be our slogan. Welcome to, to the hourglass. Let's make, let's some, make art. some art. So today we are. Oh, we're doing that thing. We're making Valentines. I know it's still 2018, <laughs> but the season of love is right around the corner. So we're we're getting the jump on it. Um, getting the jump on it. Right. So. Ahead. Let me Alley. tell you what is in our awesome kit today. Ooh, what is in our awesome kit our today? Our awesome kit is we are making um, micro mosaic valentines. And I have a list. You do have a list, but I already know what's in it. So our awesome kit contains three mirrors that are three inches by five inch ovals. It, they, it has one frosted circle with a chipped edge and a hole drilled in it that I drilled my very own self. Amazing. Uh, ten. It comes with three colors of paint, white, wow, pink, and red. Look at those. It comes with a piece of, um, this is heat set groutless mosaic, mosaic, groutless mosaic adhesive. And it's pewter colored. So it comes with one piece of that. It Woo. comes with three rolls of ribbon in appropriately seasonal colors, meaning There's probably pink. Yep, there. we have yep. one of them back there. So this is actually hard to see, so we have pictures. <laughs> um, but what over. this is, is it is six already cut vinyl masks that are ready to etch. So like, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Logan's ruining our display. I'm sorry. Okay, but this is what they look like. They're hard to see on the vinyl. Your vinyl will be yellow, but the mask will be yellow. But this is what it actually is of. Woo. It comes with one gram of pearl Sparklies. mica. Look at those sparkly. And our bonus, uh, our bonus thing for today um, is a packet of already made fruit balls. So you don't even have to make your own necessarily. You can just Aww, get this and go. That's so cute. Right, but we're going to show you how to make fruit balls also, how to make your own. Okay. Oh, okay, real fast. Okay. Oh, we don't have a noise for today. What should our noise, our question noise be? Um, should I just scream? No, <laughs> no screaming. Maybe you could just say, excuse me, madam. Excuse me, madam. Okay, so. With, with that much drama, every time. All righty, Elizabeth Carling <laughs> says, hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> Just dragged myself away from cutting more Christmas ornaments to go into the kiln. And here we are at Valentine's. I'm too much of a last minute person. Oh, I feel I right. know. <laughs> we don't plan ahead very often, but every now and then. We plan oh, really We ahead. plan really far ahead. <laughs> We're either behind or way really, out really, there. Really ahead. Right. OK, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad Hello. you're still making ornaments too. I know it's sort of the last minute Christmas crunch going on here. All right. So let's start. Can we start? Did you want to tell people how to submit questions? Oh, that's a good thing. Okay. So <laughs> if you have any, you or your friends or your cats, please send us <laughs> pictures of your cats, have any questions for the lovely Jody or I, although that's rare. Um, <laughs> You can send in questions to us by going to the mondomarkettv.com website and submitting questions in the chat box. It'll be awesome. They'll be delivered right to me. And then and I will while relay you're them. there, and share. While you're there, share it. It is the season of sharing <laughs> or something. Valentine's. Yay. Love, sharing, and love. Can you love. see the little heart? Oh, that's darling. OK, here we go. Before we get too silly, we're going to actually do some artwork. Woo! All right. So uh, this is one.
project, but it has multiple steps. So we're going to start with, um, this is tempered glass, broken tempered glass, and we've used broken tempered glass before. We've broken tempered we glass We have before. broken temp. this is actually probably from the broken tempered glass that we did. <laughs> it was so very fun. So here's some of the... Ooh, something. I know, we're misusing our Shahar's tools. <laughs> um, but we're breaking the tempered glass into smaller chunks because we want small frit balls. All right. So I have now broken pieces of tempered glass. Awesome. And I have some little containers here, some recycled containers. One for each color of paint. When you have three colors of paint in your kit, you have. We do. We have three colors of paint. And we um, have white, red, and pink. Yep. Awesome. White because it's Valentine's and it's uh, three quarters of an ounce of each color. So we'll. What we're doing is we're taking the tempered glass chunks and we're going to coat them with paint before we fuse them. Um, so that when we fuse them, we, what we'll get is um, color frit balls. And uh, we want to make sure our paint is mixed here. Mm. It doesn't take a ton. <laughs> oh, but you know, you always have to, me. You have to yeah. fill a little bit of it, or spill we a little a bit. Question. Okay, tell me a question oh, while well, I pour not, paint. Not a question. Oh. Stephanie says, hi from Germany again. Feels a little like Jody is living in the Mondo studio today. <laughs> it does feel a little bit like that. Um, and Woo. it's, we're getting a little goofy because it's been a really long day. So. And Eric says, is the glass paint the Jody paint? Yes, it is. It sure How is. did you guess? It's at the distinctive small bottles that we have in our <laughs> we <basement>. do. <laughs> we do. Small bottles have kind of taken over our life. And tiny plastic bags. I found a new supplier of tiny plastic bags. And I was so excited. That she tells you. a little you. happy dance in the yep. store. A little that tells you <laughs> what kind of life I live. <laughs> Diddle. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it was very funny. There were also mannequin heads. It was the the clerk was a little like, uh, why do you need seventy five? Okay, lady. Boxes? Wow, I'm having I'm a little bit paint challenged today. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're only a little covered in white. I, well, and I just <laughs> I was just covered in pink paint a moment ago, so I'm festive. You're festive. Okay. You missed some. I know. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> It's all good. I, if I don't ruin a tablecloth, it's not a good day. If you don't ruin a tablecloth, it's not a true <laughs> Jody experience. That's right. If you ever invite me to teach in your studio, your tablecloth stock up room. on tablecloths, or just skip the tablecloth. So this one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I might have been a little, uh, I, might, I might be getting a little tired. <laughs> this one looks like tomato sauce when you pour it in, but it actually does fuse red, and I'll show you uh, some examples here. We're just, we'll just put that over there. All right, so once we get some paint in there, uh, what we do is we just take our, our stick here and mix Ooh. that up. And stick alternately, it. you can just put the lid on and shake the heck out of it so that it's nice and coated, right? So there's... That'll make an interesting noise. It, it is pretty loud. There's our red. Unfortunately, these containers are not included in your kit, mostly because they're... <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so now... Once we have these coated with paint, we can actually do a pretty cool thing here. Um, sort of like making crunchy cookies. All right. Really crunchy cookies. T really tiny crunchy cookies. I, yeah, really, really crunchy cookies. I've been okay. making, I should make chocolate chip cookies. Uh, we've been having cookie season at our house, so perhaps I, if I we made expect four different to... types of cookies last night, it was great. Okay, so once we have this mixed, we'll get distracted from the cookies, you can actually add um, some of your mica flakes Ooh, right that's to, a lot of sparkles. it is a lot of sparkles, right to um, 
your fruit balls and it, what this does is the paint, normally mica flakes won't stick to glass without some sort of cap or something like that. But the paint acts, works as the cap. The paint works oh, as the that's cap. So sparkly. Right? So it, the paint will hold those mica flakes right on. Not all of them, of course, if it's really thick. They're not going to. So, and you want them oh, to be that on the. It looks very pretty with all the sparkles it does. in it. You want it to be on the surface, so don't mix them back up too much, because if they if the mica gets covered with paint, the paint is a little opaque. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you are done with that, then you take your, excuse me, your piece of shelf paper. We have a um, Christmas joke from Sheila. Okay, <laughs> I love Sheila's jokes. <laughs> okay. I have to stay with Christmas for just one time more. What is good, good King Wenceslas? Uh huh. Wenceslas. Uh, okay. Favorite pizza? I don't know. Deep pan, crisp and even. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is such a nerdy joke. I love it. In fact, Logan's gonna have to look it up. I am gonna. Look it up, but it's fine. Uh, and then Jan says, I knew that was a reason why I kept my cottage cheese container. Exactly. Now you can make pretty Oh, I, I am such a hoarder of all containers. Yeah, it's we, it's I, almost I recently, a like, problem. I recently cleaned out all of the cream cheese containers, and it was like a stack about this big. It was wild. Yep. There That's not even including all the ones that are already in the shop. But they're so handy. They're you can so use handy. them for weighing things and measuring things. and. Mixing fooling things. people with fake cottage cheese. Who is eating cottage cheese in the shop? Nobody's fooled. Cheese. You know what I meant when you store food in the fridge and there are oh, the yeah, cream when cheese you... containers and it's like, oh, we still have cream cheese. No, we don't. We, we, have, we have Brussels sprouts. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we have not had Brussels sprouts ever. Yeah, well, not for a long time. <laughs> we usually have asparagus instead. Asparagus is better. Okay, so once you have these guys, you want to um, try and get them separated. I like to let them dry a little bit before I spread them out. Um, so they're less sticky. Well, they still kind of stick together. So just, you know, I like to do this on a sheet of um, shelf paper on the table so I don't have to lean down into the kiln and do that, you know, Hansel and Gretel thing. Lean one more time into the oven, Gretel. And <laughs> Okay, just so hot, then we Jerry. just set those aside to dry and put, oh, or just put them straight so. in the kiln. And then when they're fired, this is what you end up with Ooh, right here. Those are pretty. So we have pink and we have clear. The clear ones have the mica sparkles and they may, you may have a hard time seeing them because they are very small. <laughs> I don't know how close up your close up no. is. Okay. No, I don't know. It's like decently close up. Okay, here's a one with a sparkle. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to pick them out so you can make sure you see one. All right, so. Oh, there's the sparkly, okay. You see it? Kinda. Kinda. There's so some. when these come out of the kiln, they're gonna be a little. Wow, look, can you see it catching light? Yeah, yep. there we go. See? Sparkly. So it's right on the, the surface there. When these come out, they're gonna be a little dusty, of course, from the paper, and the, the paint likes to stick to the paper, so we'll, we'll just give them a wash here. Um, Moisten them a little bit. Well, we wanna try and... Get them real drenched. Get that, yeah. It's not like they soak up water or anything, right? So. No. Okay. Oh, they squeak together, it's terrible. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Eric says, man, now I want a bagel. Oh, me too, Eric. <laughs> me too. I want a martini. But <laughs> I want a bagel. But okay, bagels would work. I, I, I just, I, okay. So. Thanks, Eric. Now I want a bagel. <laughs> right. Ah, you're flinging frit at me. That's a gift. Thanks. Yep. My foot appreciates it. Yep. Okay. So see how nice those are. Those are nice, some nice colors there. Those are so pretty. If you want, in fact, if you get this kit, you will have all of those colors exactly. Uh, well, you do, have, these ones you'll have to make yourself. The colors, not, not. Oh yeah, these no, are, that's the like color the paint. of paint. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you can make these exact colors yourself. Oh, um, but then of course pretty. you also do have these already fused ones, uh -huh, which are a mix uh -huh. of, um, there's some that are painted and some that are art glass and some that are fancy. Uh, cl just clear tempered glass. Okay, mm -hmm. so once we have that part done, um, we 
right? This is step one. Madame, I am afraid we have questions. Okay, now's a good time. Jan says, Jody, could you sprinkle mica on after you have placed them on the shelf paper instead of before? Yes. Awesome. Yes, you can. And that, um, so there, it's sort of a pro and con thing. Uh, if you do it that way, you just get mica on the top surface, but you do end up losing some of the mica on the, the um, shelf paper, right? Because it's very hard to gather it back up. Um, and if you do it in the container, you get more on the pieces, but of course then some of it gets covered by paint, so it's sort of a, you know. You know, our other kits also come with mica, so if you run out and you want some other nifty things, you can order all our kits. Yeah, we do have a couple mica, of mica. Get some other mysterious items. We do have a couple of mica kits. Do you want to look at the kit really quick before I move on to the next piece sure, of the kit? Sure, but okay. uh, Jan is confirming that you use tempered glass pieces for these? Uh, yes. Awesome. So the glass that you just saw me mix up with mica is temper was tempered glass chunks. Mm -hmm. um, and then we full fuse those and the firing schedule is included in your kit. Okay. It's a little printout. Um, awesome. And these, so in your kit you get the, um, the paint and the mica, but you do have to supply your own glass chunks. So we trust that you'll be able to find a piece of tempered glass without vandalizing any of the neighbor's cars. Yep. So. Oh, look at that paint. Oh, isn't that pretty? Right? <laughs> so, and those are not Ooh. quite full either. Um, yeah, they've the been. Red, yeah, <laughs> Jody, Jody tested, Jody They've approved. been Jody approved. The red one is full. So we have paint, we have mirrors. Yep, okay, so let me do this. Oh, all right, I'll let you do it. So we have three mirrors of three by five oval, one frosted glass circle, 3.25 inches across, and then 0.75 ounces glass paint in white, red, and pink. Oh, look at those. And one gram of pearl mica flakes. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> and then, Six by 12 groutless mosaic adhesive in pewter. Wow, right there, so snazzy. Ooh. And then we have six ready to use etching masks in these three fun patterns. <gasps> you know, I think we should do for the giveaway. Um, or another, just another sheet of... We could. Awesome. We actually, we're, I'm, I mean, <laughs> we weren't planning on doing a giveaway, so I'm not sure that we have uh, that we are ready for that but okay okay so and we'll see we'll see how it goes three spools of ribbon and bonus one ounce fused trip balls Woo! okay ready? for only 48 dollars. 48 dollars and that will go up so make sure that you um order soon um okay so our next step is we're going to etch the we're going to use one of the masks mm -hmm. and etch the the uh, heart onto which we, heart this, this the okay, yep. this middle heart right mm -hmm. here. Yep. Now, um, which you can also see. This is what the close up, which we've already done. Look at that. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, and it comes with a, a fingerprint. Look at that. Now it comes with four. <laughs> Use, the, use your fingerprint information wisely. Okay, so this is uh, the yellow mask right here. You can see I got a little aggressive with my scissor action, but it is still totally usable. And if you are tricky, you can actually use the cutout part as an as a additional mask. So you can see I have the, the cutout on one mirror, and I'm going to put the... Not cut um, out. Right, the rest of it. I'm actually gonna rip it into two pieces here. To chunk. The rest of it on the second mirror. Cool. So I'll have a positive and a negative of this. Hey, we just did that in your class this morning, which you should totally check out on CuriousMondo.com. Right, we have one more day of class. It's a pretty snazzy class. We just did this with stencils. It was really cool. Woo! <laughs> you did, okay. And here's the inside piece. And if you need help transferring this, you actually can use a masking tape. Mm -hmm. And you put the masking tape on here and then you can transfer this right over to your 
or transfer tape if you have transfer Stick tape, right on. but not everybody does. Oh, you want to make sure that's on there nice and tight so you can, um, yep, you can, awesome. uh, all right, so this one edge of mine, I cut it a little close mm -hmm. and I don't want to get um, etching cream on it, so I'm just going to trim here. Trim here, follow me. Right, and do this. Okay, just cool. making sure that we have. Okay, so we're using just acid etch cream. Awesome. And. Uh, Ooh, it's got some chunks. Well, yes, it does have some chunks. All right. And if you are cautious, we should be fine. We're not going to. Don't spill get it this. On your hands. Right, we're, we're not going to get it on our hands. You can put this on with a brush or with a stick. I like to use a stick because I feel like I get better coverage. <laughs> well, it's kind of chunky, so it is. I think it's right. easier to. Okay, give away. You get another sheet of these six um, etching things Masks. as well as. A stick. Two <laughs> sticks, so you can put it on just like Jody. Oh, they're awesome. actually pretty useful sticks. They're they um, are tongue depressors. Tongue depressors. Awesome. We got a whole big box of them from my grandmother. Well, probably from your grandfather, who's a pharmacist, would be yeah. my guess. But yes. One of them. One of them. They're married. But so. we actually have worked our way all the way through all of those. And this okay. is a fresh batch. Woo. I know. So, so you get, what? how about four of these? <laughs> She's giving away all my tongue depressors. <laughs> you can get more. I'm so depressed. <laughs> okay, but I need those for today. Okay, no, so yeah, this, one. Um, this etching cream, it is not great for your skin, so don't get it on your skin. <laughs> it will etch your flesh. It will etch a flesh. <laughs> etch a flesh. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. It's version the of newest tattooing <laughs> method. Is oh, God. the nope. okay? So we let that sit for a minute. That needs a couple minutes, about three, depending on where like you know if your humidity and whatnot but three works pretty darn well okay so set that aside we're going to set that stick somewhere i won't get it on me okay so while we are waiting for that we um, have one more question from jan okay we have one more question um jody excuse me for interrupting again oh, no oh we whatever. love you jan <laughs> um, but again what are we using the frit balls we just made for Ah, uh, oh like right, because we need to look at the back side of it. So what? So we can do fun things. We're like doing this. a micro mosaic, a glass yes. micro okay. mosaic on the back of the mirror Ooh. piece. So you can do hearts or just plain or whatever you right. want. It'll be awesome. So we have some examples. So while we're waiting for now, we've made our um, frit balls and we are we etching our mirrors. And so the next thing we need to do is get our um, adhesive ready. So here, is our, here are our pre-made frit balls. So we'll be using those. Set those here. We have our last mirror, last leftover mirror. And my adhesive is a little smaller than full size. You'll have plenty of adhesive. And hopefully a better razor knife than this one. Yeah, it does its job. It's the most that can be set, right? Okay. So we're doing two circles, or two ovals, I mean. Awesome. All ovals are circles, but not all circles are ovals, so you were correct. Good to know. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> uh, I think that was the other way around. Sheila could tell you, because Sheila was a math Sheila, teacher. Sheila, please let me know. I, I, correct I my know child's math. poor math skills. <laughs> I, know, I know how to do trigonometry, just not geometry. Geometry is more fun. Okay. I, I don't know. Trigonometry is pretty great. Awesome. All right. So this piece that we have here that's clear, this one is kind of fun because you can do um, you can do frit balls on both sides if you like, mm -hmm. um, or you can just do them on one side. You can do a custom etch. You can do one of these etches. Either way. It gives you some ideas. Ooh, so you can do all sorts of fun so things. So you can do all sorts of fun things. Okay, so we're just cutting the adhesive to fit our ovals. Oh, well you do that. Um, mm -hmm. Because the giveaway was spontaneous and not really planned. <laughs> Let me tell you about the giveaway. <laughs> okay. So, 
the giveaway to win uh, another sheet of these etching masks and four tongue depressors stolen from Jody herself. <laughs> from um, the McCraney Russo Studio tongue depressors, patented. You can comment, share, just tell your friends and tell us that. And if you buy the kit, you'll be entered extra, 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 into our wonderful uh, fun drawing of, let's see, six etching masks. Fancy, fancy, fancy. They're, they're almost impossible they to see impossible on the film. See. So but that's why we have the printouts three for you. Fun colors. And then for, that one just fell again. Okay, three, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Fun patterns. Woo! So you get those three fun patterns, two of each, and as well as four of these magnificent wooden tongue depressors. Woo! <laughs> Magnificent. You see they're getting better. These these tongue they depressors are getting, so much are getting more epically better as amazing, we go more along. Amazing by the minute. Ooh, right? Fancy. Fancy. Okay. So, I think we are about ready to wash. Can, 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 oh, sorry. Okay. Send in your jokes for extra entries because we, we live off jokes. That is our lifeblood here at uh, Mondo Market TV, The Hourglass, starring Jody McCraney Russia. Particularly The Hourglass. I don't think the other hosts live on no, jokes. No, just us. Just us. Right. Okay. <laughs> now may I continue? Yes. Fine. Okay. <laughs> so the, we have now our etching cream and um, some cool water. Mm -hmm. uh, I really should be wearing gloves for this, but I'm only partially prepared. So I'm just gonna make sure that this doesn't get in my. Is that dad's toothbrush? No. <laughs> Shh. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> terrible, you are a terrible child, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh look, my handy, my very handy person brought me some gigantic Yay. gloves thank you my gloves are on the other set from <laughs> this morning's class <laughs> awesome these are my giant smurf gloves perfect okay <laughs> your hands are so small I know, right it's okay so you can like are, they're my hazmat gloves them yep. just like okay be great and hopefully right. that has been three minutes i I checked our clock, but it's hard to tell minutes on an hourglass. <laughs> so. And we don't pretend, we don't really have a, um, a, um, good heavens, I forgot the name. Second hand? Sundial. Oh, we don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't have a sundial, not that it would be very helpful, but not especially because it's overcast. As oh, we're, we're expecting snow, and, so oh, hopefully so. all you all in gross. the south are are uh, hanging in there there have been some big storms please send them our way please says the person who doesn't have to shovel I the driveway i do shovel okay so <laughs> let's have a look here and see where we're at with our etching can you do second coat of etching cream if it doesn't work yeah you can but awesome. you don't want to peel off the mask until you you're oh, sure. sure yeah yeah because trying to reapply it is just uh, right nice. it's a little tricky so but i think we're okay yeah that looks fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine, it's fine. okay so once we're done with that then we can peel off our mask this Ooh. is very sturdy yes. and um, you're wearing smurf gloves and i'm wearing smurf gloves not anymore though okay no more smart gloves. Ooh, what a noise. We don't have any razor blades on set. <gasps> or band-aids. We'll have to fix that immediately. No, we're fine. We don't need any razor blades <laughs> or band-aids. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long oh, day. Man. Um, you can't just be sending people on wild goose chases <laughs> for stuff <laughs> that we don't need. <laughs> a wild goose chase. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Somebody's going to get kicked off the set in a minute. I'm the host. All right. You can't kick me off. Yes, I can. Okay. So here we go. These look nice. Yeah, they do. They're make your nails are making a horrible shrieking noise against them, but they look Oh god. This baby. one? That noise? Well, you don't like that? I hate you so much. <laughs> 
being a mom has its rewards, right? You got to take them where you get them, man, because they're few and far between. All right. Uh, Jan says, joke incoming. What did the dog breeder get when she crossed an Irish setter with a pointer at Christmas time? Uh, a point setter. <laughs> awesome <laughs> I love it thank you Jen that was that was an awesome joke mm -hmm. okay Sheila I'm expecting jokes and <laughs> correcting my geometry please okay so now we have our two ornaments awesome okay Amazing. or our valentines they're not ornaments they're valentines well valentine ornaments close enough right if you still have your Christmas tree up at Valentine's Day, I salute you all, first of all. And um, then you can put these on your Christmas tree. Your then Valentine's it's a Valentine's tree, and then you're good. Tree. You're great. Right? Then you can just go ahead. So I like to make <laughs> your sure round holiday tree. <laughs> when I do this that I put the hearts right side up, because once I start putting the frit balls on, it's hard to keep track of that. So it's a good idea to sort of keep it um, to figure that part out mm -hmm. ahead of time. Okay, so this film does act as an adhesive, and we're going to use it to um, set the mosaics onto the back of the mirrors, but we're also going to use it to glue on, to stick on the hanging ribbon. And to do that though, we need to put a couple of layers of it on because it's very thin. So we want to put a piece where we want this hanging, the hanging ribbon. If you don't do this, your ribbon will come back off. So this is a fairly critical step. It's awesome. not difficult. It's just critical. It's just, it's it like is important, <laughs> right? It's not hard per se, but there's lots of moments where it can go south. So your circle one has a, a hole in it, so it's much easier to just go ahead and, and hang. Just stick a ribbon through it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our ribbon. Oh, we're running out of ribbon. No. Rapidly. No. <laughs> oh, well, that's yes. okay. We're like... It's fine because the kits come with three spools of the ribbon. The kits come with three, so you don't have to deal with this. So you have plenty. Well, and I've already done like multiple Yeah, ones. that's true. Yeah, so. Ta-da. It's not that, you know, it's just getting used up. All right. Okay, cool so I've put a, a little half circle kind of shape of ribbon at the top. I'm going to put one ribbon there I'm going to put another piece of adhesive. <laughs> I know, it's like a little adhesive and ribbon sandwich. Uh, tasty. Tasty. I feel like that would get a little stuck in your teeth. Right, and it's sort of like the recipe video that you never ever see online. Right? Although some of those videos strange. lately I've been like, what? I'm not sure I could eat that. Okay. Right, I got a recipe off of a um, actual recipe video. It's the those peanut butter cookies. Oh yeah, that was okay. Yeah. All right. It's very tasty. Oh, <laughs> this thing is now gonna... included in the giveaway. Me scribbling down a recipe as fast as I possibly can on an index oh, card. Oh, stop it. Okay. <laughs> That's not included. Sorry, folks. <laughs> All right. Stay. Stay. It's not a dog. It's not a point setter. <laughs> That was hilarious. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. There we go. Okay. So prep work done. Finally. Woo. Yes. Now this is heat set. So we need to put it and we need to heat it and we're going to heat it very gently. And we're going to do that at a low temperature. And we're going to do that in our electric frying pan before we start putting on frit the beans. frit balls because once we put on the frit balls, it's going to be really hard to move them. <laughs> so we're going to just put them in the frying pan. Over the fire. Oh, right. Or, oh, we don't have the fire frying set. pan Sorry, into folks. the fire. Okay. Jan's class does. Um, okay. Here we go. Ooh. Fancy. Okay. So then we just double check our ribbon, make sure all is well, and then I moved it. Okay, all is well. Brute. Okay, now. Um, pardon me, madame, we have a question. Okay. 
Um, Gretchen says, so what's the sticky stuff? The sticky stuff is, it is um, groutless mosaic, mosaic adhesive. adhesive. In pewter colored. Yes, and we Pewter have flavor. used it before in um, jewelry. We've used it before for jewelry kits, uh, for this kind of thing, and it is really fun. So one of the things I really like to do with this stuff is um, make and take projects. Mm -hmm. So like if you're having an open house or a, some sort of event, people mm -hmm. can come and do a little ornament. But or you do... don't have to kiln it. Right. And roast so it. You don't have to roast it. So people can do a project right there at your open house while they're having a glass of wine and shopping. And then either you can heat their little ornament up and set the, the, the adhesive or you can let them do it. Awesome. Or you can do it while they shop. That's always a good idea. Ooh. And uh -huh. um, it's just a fun little thing that people feel like they've done something artistic, which they have. Yay. Also, it comes in your kit. You get um, six by 12. Mm -hmm. A six inch by 12 inch piece. Six inch by 12 inch. Awesome. Look at that. So tasty. Let me strike right. it with my amazingly magnificent stellar tongue, tongue depressor. depressor that's getting more magnificent by the moment. So this one, um, now you'll notice Ooh. I'm kind of holding the adhesive in place. So while I add these frit balls until it, it creates enough weight to hold it in place. Um, and it will, because this is a fair amount of glass. Awesome. Right? Folks, I'm not getting any jokes. Come on. <laughs> the joke's on you. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Bye. Are you just gonna Enjoy make, show? <laughs> make up jokes? Okay. Um, I didn't make up any jokes in the car right here. I'm, I'm so I sorry. know. We've, it's, it's, um, let's see. I'm What's a good Valentine's joke? Uh, um, nom, 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 nom. Let me think. Well, all I can think of are the snow jokes, right? Like, why don't you want to date? Why don't you date uh, icicles? Because they're too flaky. Well, not an icicle. Because they're cold and sharp. Well, yeah, and when things start to get, when the relationship warms up, they t they turn into a drip. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. It is. Um, oh. But I kind of uh, love it, actually. Okay. Awesome. Georgine says, what temperature is the frying pan? Uh, it's not anything yet. That's, you thought that was going to be a joke, didn't you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, so, Georgine, I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to get all of the mosaic pieces on first so that I don't um, burn my fingers while it's heating. Um, and <laughs> then we're going to turn it to 200 and just let it heat for a moment and we'll do that together so you can sort of see what it looks like as it's uh, liquefying a little bit. Awesome. And uh, we don't want to do it too hot. So this is a fairly low temperature thing. Whoop. You don't want to do it too hot because your uh, mosaic will sort of run off the edge and disappear. It'll or and you don't want to, to thermal shock your glass either. So we're and then gonna. Then Jan asks. So is this a double sided adhesive? Um, it is. It's actually a sheet. The whole sheet is adhesive. So think of it like um, a very specific sheet. It's like hot glue. A sheet. Yes, a very use specific piece of hot glue. Thin. Thin. Flat. Hot mm -hmm. glue. And cool. it's it's not hot glue. I mean it it. <laughs> It's, it is hot glue because that's how you set it, but that's it's glue. It's and not it's hot. the same as it's a hot, not yeah. like a hot glue stick that's been mm -mm. flattened down. But no, it's, it's not. It's made yeah. specifically for mosaics. Ooh. Awesome. These look like little jelly beans. I wouldn't recommend eating them. No, we did have so we did this. Um, we we this did these fun. little micro mosaics at our. We did a private art party last weekend for um, seventeen people. It was fun. It was fun, and we had our oldest participant was 84? Six? I thought it was 86. 86. And oh, our no, youngest participant was one and a half. So we did have we a, a little bit of people 
the younger set especially wanting to eat some of these. <laughs> Um, but it worked out well. Everyone did a beautiful job and enjoyed themselves. And I thought it was such a, a wonderful family tradition. So rather than doing a gift exchange, this family does some sort of experience together awesome. every year. So sometimes they go yeah. to the ballet together. Sometimes they like. they book an art private art party. Sometimes they, um, you know, they just do... They do fun things. Yeah, and I thought that was terrific because it seems like everybody has a lot of stuff. Right. And so um, that, that seemed like something that would be Guest 170 says, terrific. will this piece be waterproof slash, slash weather resistant? Um, to a certain extent, but the, the ribbon is fabric. So the ribbon itself, um, it, I mean, the ribbon will be more weather resistant than, say, uh, a paper ribbon. But I would probably... I would probably put it in a sheltered location, you know, not not full on um, gale force winds or anything. Uh, and then Sheila says, "How do you tell if a clock is hungry?" I don't know. It goes back four seconds. <laughs> that's, oh, that's awesome! It took me just a second. It took you four seconds. It took me four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's a good one. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So our, our next one will be actually be using uh, the frit balls that we painted. Now, do you want to, while I'm putting frit balls on, do you want to look at the kit again? Sure. Let's look so, at this fun, okay. fun, fun, fun kit. So you can make like the exact project Jody's making right now because we have three of these fantastic mirrors. Uh, one small, let's see, the mirrors are three inch by five inch and oval. There is one frosted glass circle, 3.25 inches, and then a 75 ounce. Um, 75 ounce? 0.75. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. There's a barrel of paint. <laughs> you get a whole jug of Okay. <laughs> there is a three quarter ounce um, bottle of glass paint in three different colors, which is white, pink, and red. So you can make all of these fun colors. So you can fun. do frit painted balls. frit balls. Of course, you can always use your paint for different things if you yeah, want. Yeah, you can but, just like paint um, something on a little frosted glass circle if you want. That'd be cool. But that, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you'd um, have to fire it, of course, but you could, you could do that. You could paint right on the glass circle with your um, your glass paints and fire it if you wish. And it's the full fuse firing schedule that's already included, so you are more than welcome to do that. And yep. And send us pictures because I would like to see how that turns out. <laughs> yes, and it'll be lovely. Eric, this one's for you. There's one gram of pearl mica flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Eric probably is, has plenty of mica at this point. Right, I'm just calling out Eric and his mica. Right, My, uh, Eric does have a thing for mica. Honestly, who doesn't? Uh, seriously, right? Um, and then you get a 6 inch by 12 inch roll of this scroutless mosaic adhesive that Jody is using right this very moment to stick some stuff down to her th uh, 3 inch by 5 inch mirrors. Right. And then there are six ready to use etching masks. Fun, fun, fun in these three magnificent patterns. So there's two of each, two of each pattern mm -hmm. in the... So there's the flaming heart of passion. <laughs> and the if fun you... fun Celtic heart. If you're... And then the leaf. It's, leaves. Yeah, it's a, like a floral. Ah, floral. It's yes. a floral heart. Cool. Um, and then there are three spools of festive pink ribbon. Or red. So the, red. the ribbons, yeah, will vary slightly, but they will all be... Um, they'll be valentine colors and sh and patterns but we never quite know what we're going to get so yep and then there is a bonus of one ounce fuse for pulse which i think i already mentioned but they're pretty cool that's what we just used Ooh. so just if you want to look over here real fast um we have so this is the package of frit balls that that mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. in your kit that we yeah, used, and we've already used this many of them to make one of the yeah. mirrors, and you can see how many are left there. So it's a pretty... 
That's pretty great. That's a great picture. It's pretty good amount yeah. of so we have of stuff there. The one that's on the back of the mirror, and then this is what's left after you do yeah, just one mirror. Yeah, that's what's left mirror. after we do just wow, one mirror, right? Like so there's yeah. Look at all those. There's so many. You could make like eighteen mirrors. Please oh, well. don't make eighteen mirrors. Um, Maybe now, if you're if you are cautious when you do your masks, if you're careful when you um, peel those, you actually could use um, each one as a positive and a negative. So that would give you a total of um, 12 masks instead of wow. just six. And that's what we did here. You saw how we did one of them as a positive and one of them as a negative. So mm -hmm. with your paint, and then if you make frit balls, if you do your own color frit balls, the, the painted ones, you almost have, you'd have to add a few more mirrors and a few more uh, circles but you could almost do an ornament party, like a Valentine party. Oh, wouldn't that be done? With, um, with these. And now keep in mind, you can also do these with kids. So if you have kids, grade school age kids, this, is a fun um, project. this yeah. could be something you could do in a classroom no for sure. Because sharp glass. Right? If awesome. balls are, now you do have to watch them because, because people like to put them in their mouth. Children. The people do, children do like to eat things. That is and <laughs> you do always have one kid that wants to fill his pockets. And I usually let them because What's they don't live do? at my house, so it's okay. Um, Gretchen says, so if the tempered pebble, pebbles are all from the same source, it would be kind of cute to tack fuse them together mm -hmm. into your oval shape and pop the whole shebang right on the, to the back side of your mirror. Yeah, you could do that. Um, and they... Uh, that the paint, um, I have done some like that. I'll have to remember to post a picture. I didn't do an oval. I actually did a heart shape with the tempered glass. Um, and it, it's quite pretty and the paint does get quite shiny at a tack fuse temperature. So, you know, it's, it's pretty, it is pretty. Awesome. And then Eric says, I'm actually starting to run out of a few types, even though I bought three of the kits from the Micah Madness. <laughs> <laughs> and well, probably the uh, do-it-yourself Micah kit, too. I, I don't know, but that seemed like it would be something. It's Micah, right. Right, something that would be awesome. It is fun to, to do your own. All right, Micah's awesome. Micah is Micah. awesome. So this is a, maybe we should do these at our family party at Christmas. Maybe. <laughs> Did you hear the overwhelming excitement there? Oh, so thrilled. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right. So how are we doing time-wise? Oh, we have plenty of time. Okay. We um, have, uh, like, 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to start because, truly, I could do this all day. It's very soothing. <laughs> to make all these little shapes. It's quite, I'm having a great time here. Um, but I do want to show you how to um, actually melt set, them. yeah, melt them. So squish them flat. We might turn that frying pan on slightly while I yeah. add the last of these Real fast, let's shapes. look at um, the little tack used. Look at how cute these are. These are what you can do. This is a round mirror that is not offered in. No, it's class, just, it's another it's, example of a mirror. It's the same size as the circle, though, so you could do uh, your circle like that. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty nifty. Okay. I like these little pink ones. They're very pearly. <laughs> <laughs> very pearly pink. Pearly pink. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this um, frying pan on to two, about 200. Uh, Coco and says, let it start doing its thing. <laughs> okay. Coco says, you got a little something going on there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Coco says, Jody, will you post that pic to I Love Arts and Crafts? I'd love to see that. Um, I will try to remember. If I remember, I absolutely will post it. So if my trusty host will remember to remind me. I don't even remember what day it is. Okay. It's Tuesday, though, of which I know because we're, we're doing here. a fantastic <laughs> hourglass every right. other week. Except we're going on break, and we'll, we'll be back January the 8th. Woo! Yes, this Have is our fun. last show for a while. 
Okay. And um, <laughs> Eric says, Mica question with the Mica okay. Madness kit. Is the powder the same as the fine Mica that's now on the website? I think it is. Um, although I would, before I say definitely, I would like to look and just make sure. Yeah. And because then Jan says, Jody, could you use Jody paint on the adhesive if you didn't want to cover the entire back with pebbles? Um, Maybe? Not really, because that, oh, 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 okay, we're going to turn that down. Toasty, toasty? Yep, see how it's already starting to set right here? Oh. And so you can see that yeah, it is, kind of it does, it turns a little shiny. It kind of, yeah, it looks wet. It does, it looks wet. And then we want to just lightly press those smirch them down into and make that. sure that they get yeah so it's really it's really not very warm I mean it's just warm enough I don't want to put my finger in there but it's not warm enough to like properly burn no it won't properly burn me properly um, it won't properly burn me won't properly burn, 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 burn. <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> it won't burn my skin off. Yeah. So, so the surface of the adhesive is probably not going to take paint because it is a little rubbery. It is a little um, But what we can try here, and we didn't get a chance to try this. We were talking about this in the oh, car because we haven't tried it. Right so while it is liquid, we're going to try sprinkling some of the mica flakes on it and see if it... Um, it should adhere if it will stay adhered, right? It should. And some of this will come back off in a minute. Yeah, the stuff that's on top of the frit. Right, the stuff that's on top of the frit will come back off, but we'll see. Ooh, that's sparkly. It is very sparkly. Fancy. Okay, so we'll do that for a second and <laughs> see. You can't properly see how sparkly it is on camera, but it's very sparkly. Which is interesting because usually things look more sparkly on camera than they do. Yeah, but it's it's Okay, so shiny. we do want to make sure the part that can be problematic is right here where the ribbon is because remember we have multiple layers like of adhesive. Layers. So Three. we want to make sure that gets very firmly glued together and just make sure that these... Now, you don't want to pick it up by the ribbon while it is hot because that adhesive is soft. The and ribbon will just shoot right, right out. out. Yep. <sighs> Ask me how I know. See, folks? Joe has it right for you. So I you ruined it already. Mistake. Right, so you don't have to make that mistake. Okay. In this, you can just ooh, make sure that all these get <laughs> squished on. Pressed otherwise they down. Yeah, otherwise they do have a tendency to try and escape. Honestly, who doesn't? <laughs> so um, don't put the mica on first. Oh, your fingers are very sparkly. <laughs> because it will act as a separator. Again, mostly just it covers the adhesive so that the sticky part won't stick to the glass. So if you're going to do this mo this uh, mica part, mica flake thing over the top, you need to do it last. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, see, and some of mine are still not quite squished on. Ad yeah, adhered. So I like to use a frying pan. I did try to do these on a, like a mug warmer, which is really handy for the jewelry sized one, but it was a little too small for the Uh Eric the says, Jody, while you were firing your red frit balls, did you vent? It's very accurate. Um, I did not, um, and I they turned out quite red. So I think it's because they're not capped, so they got plenty of airflow. Um, although he brings up a good point because it's, it is a cadmium red, so it does normally need to be vented to get that full red. Oh, there's so many sparkles. Color. Again, with the ruining a tablecloth. Okay, so let's now just very figure out where we're going to put these. Okay, I'm going to um, put them on my mat and then move this. So just want, give me one second here. Because we don't particularly want to Melt. have a frying pan in the middle of side. Right. <laughs> a beautiful <laughs> thrift store frying pan. I do not make pancakes in this frying pan. Oh, God. No. <laughs> okay, we'll turn that guy off and give okay. these just a okay. second. You they are quite see, warm. You can see how sparkly that is on. Yes, you can. See? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's shiny. Right, so they are quite warm. So on this one, um, I'm actually going to dump that extra mica on a piece of paper <laughs> so that I can 
so I can try and save it because uh, so I would not good. want to inadvertently miss out. Oops, and some of my glass is not perfectly adhered either, so we'll mm -hmm. stick that perfectly back. Perfectly squished down. Yeah, we'll put it back in the in the. This is why you want to make sure it is completely set before you take it off. Don't let that ticking hourglass make you nervous and jump the gun. Hourglasses don't tick. <laughs> What's the joke? Calm down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You've been asking for jokes. I give you a joke. That was You're not, not a joke. happy. All right. We'll leave it over here for a second and let's see how this one is doing. That one's just missing one. I've noticed my frying pan does not heat very evenly, which is probably why it was at the thrift store in the first place. Hmm, maybe so. Right? Okay. Okay, so a quick review of the kit. Um, you can do uh, quite a grundle of the frit balls. A grundle? A grundle. Quite a grundle of the frit balls with the paint that we have included in the kit. So that is a total of, what's three times 0.75? One point... Oh, one sec. <laughs> 2.25. 2.25 ounces of paint total. Look, Sheila, are you proud of me? I can do math. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Sheila's a math teacher, though. I know, <laughs> but she's retired, so maybe she's tired of trying to teach kids math. Hmm. Um, okay, and then you have quite a bit of mica. If you look at how much mica we have left, now we've done, we put mica on the, where is my mica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did I dumped you? all of the mica on. Oop, never mind. Okay, so there's quite a bit of mica in there, um, and it doesn't take much. So you'll have leftovers of mica for sure. And I'm. This is a good thing to do with the tongue depressor. Okay. He's smushing back it's down. Smir yep. yep. I'm just. I know it's not on camera, but I'm just giving them one little more smush. Okay. And then you have enough masks to do six hearts. And if you're careful, you can actually extend that to 12 by doing the reverse. Wow. Um, you have three mirrors, an, a circle. You have a whole little bag of these things. So you have plenty of frit balls to get started. <laughs> and those, right? So you can use the fancy ones yourself if you like. Yeah. Oh, and then make everybody else use the painted ones. <laughs> um, so... Be and the special person you want to be. Right, the special person. Okay. The special frit lord. So, but we do lords. have um, a limited number of these. So if you are thinking of doing this, I would do it sooner rather than later um, because we do have a limited number of the um, circles with the holes in them. And... Um, holy circles. Huh? The holy circles. The holy circles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you want to do that fairly soon if you're going to. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see if I can. And Jan says, Jody, could you place a glass lid over the piece to help encase the heat while it is heating? Well, you could. It's, um, it actually is not, it doesn't take very long. I just wasn't very patient, <laughs> which is no surprise. It runs in the family. <laughs> this is no surprise to anyone, right? So these should be done now. And I think, um, you know, if you had a, uh, your, frying pan were heated nicely. Like if it were at the perfect temperature, it would be lickety split. Um, you do want to be a little bit careful so you don't thermal shock them. So as you put new ones in, I like to turn the heat down um, and put the new ones in and then turn the heat back up so that it's, um, so we don't thermal shock the, the pieces. Because nobody likes cracked no one likes glass, shock. right? Okay. So don't forget, this is our last show of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and next year, next year when we see you, oh my gosh, next year. We'll see you next year. <laughs> we'll be back on January 8th. Um, so uh, this is our last kit of the year, too. So you if better you hurry on up. Right. Yeah. This is something that you could do over your Christmas break if you have kids at home. 
mm -hmm. bored kids at home. Or if you just want to do it yourself, it's a pretty cool project yes. for all ages. Or if you just want to do it yourself. Okay, Ooh. let's see. This is still hot, but I think. Oh, okay. she toasty. Right? So here's that's, the one oh, with. Oh, that's so cute. I actually kind of dig that mica on there. Right? Oh, you just right? dig everything sparkly. I do. It, uh, this looks like, you know what this looks like? Like uh, red hots and, and Valentine candy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it does. And then here's the heart on the other side. Oh, look at that. Right. That's so cute. So there's one. Cool. And here's the other one. And this one looks like jelly beans. It really it does. It has all those beautiful colors on it. Eric, if you wanted a bagel before, now you want jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> a bagel flavored jelly beans. Ew. Okay. Um, what? No, <laughs> no bagel flavored jelly beans. Or jelly beans okay. flavored bagel. All right. Cool. Okay. So the winner for our impromptu um, giveaway giveaway of things that. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> thrilling tongue depressors. Right. I think thrilling tongue depressors might be my new like punk band name. <laughs> <laughs> no? Does no one else make up punk band names but me? All right, see, I'm getting a, uh, yeah, from the, the crew over here. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> oh, real fast. Okay. Guest 392, can I use a heat gun or a hair dryer to yes, set these pieces Yes, You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. Just do it at a low temperature. And in some ways, it's easier. Um, but the other thing that you might want to do is get one of those um, grease splatter grids. You, do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a piece of screen with a handle on it. And if you put that over it before you use the heat gun, it will keep the heat gun it from popping. It will smush popping. them all down flat. Yeah, it will smush them all down flat and it will awesome. keep the little bits from flying off. But a heat gun is totally usable. Just do it on a heat proof surface, of course. Woo! Um, look at that. It worked. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, here. Okay. Do it on a heat proof surface awesome. um, and you know, just, just watch so you don't flip the little pieces off with Ooh, your... Uh, that's interesting. Okay. All right. So sorry I interrupted so the, you. Okay. <laughs> nah, um, the winner for our impromptu giveaway of one sheet of um, masks, masks and masks. four fantastic, <laughs> thrilling, stellar, fan, like amazing tongue depressors. <laughs> I'm running out of good words. Um, is Gretchen Peterson. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> the thrilling tongue depressors coming to I think Gretchen. It's, I think it's Nebraska. Ooh, Are you Nebraska? in Nebraska, Gretchen? That's cool. I think so. I have a friend who lives or in Nebraska. Or North Dakota. I can't remember. They're all kind of the same when you don't live there. Yeah, all right. that's why my friend thought I lived in Texas. Yeah, it's kind of, when you don't live there, it's kind of all the same. Okay, so, thank you for being with woo! us. We'll see you next year. We'll see you next year. <laughs> Bye, folks. <laughs> Have a good one.